My name is John Skavortz. My home institution is the University of South Florida. I'm in the sociology department there. Um, my work uh, focuses on networks, uh, the study of social networks, um, both using uh, statistical models and um, also advising colleagues at the University of South Florida who are doing a lot of work uh, collecting data on social networks, such as the networks of uh, faculty um, in terms of their discussion of teaching matters. The course I teach in the summer program is called uh, Network Analysis Statistical Approaches. And um, what we do in that course is look at the kinds of statistical techniques that are appropriate to uh, uh, network measures, uh, both measures that for, of individual positions in networks and then me metrics that apply to the entire network. The goals and objectives uh, of the course are to acquaint in, uh, the students in the course uh, with the kinds of techniques that have been developed to uh, do statistical testing um, for networks. Uh, networks are peculiar kinds of objects because there's an awful lot of um, interdependency in the outcomes of ties between individuals. So um, the tie uh, variable that occurs between I and J may be dependent upon uh, the tie variable that occurs between J to I, I to K, uh, I to K, J to K. So there's a lot of interdependency and you have to have some very special techniques um, and, uh, in order to estimate models that try to capture the forces that structure networks, such as communication networks in organizations, uh, between individuals and organizations, but also communication networks between organizations in various kinds of um, public health consortia uh, and uh, things like that. The format and the approach in teaching the course is one in which we have um, uh, usually alternate lectures with lab exercises. Um, and so I would start with a, a typically a set of slides that talk about, uh, initially we talk about what are random graphs, um, because in order to detect any uh, feature of a network, one of the things you want to do is assess whether y your observation, um, is, could that have been produced by chance? So we have to understand uh, what kinds of networks people have studied that are, that are chance networks and what are their properties. And then very quickly, we look at uh, how real networks depart from chance uh, by introducing students to the uh, strength of weak ties theory, probably the most famous theory about networks in sociology. Uh, and then we go from there, um, looking at um, dyadic patterns such as reciprocity, multiplexity, and exchange, uh, and then patterns in triads like transitivity and closure. Uh, and then we take uh, and end up the course looking at complete networks and models for complete networks um, and end up really talking about the exponential random graph model approach, uh, which is the most highly developed and active research area for the statistical modeling of networks. The background of participants can vary uh, quite substantially. Um, uh, in one of the courses, one of the times I've caught, taught this course, I had a full professor from a law school uh, in, in New York. Um, but f most of the time, the participants are advanced PhD students. Um, it's usually uh, quite um, advantageous if they ha already have a network project that they're working on or have, their, have data that they can then apply the techniques that they learn in the course to, that, uh, to those data. Um, uh, that's not always the case. Uh, sometimes the students have an interest in networks um, and are anticipating uh, collecting network data or using network data in their dissertations. Um, and so they are, just want to sort of be pre-prepared for the time, when they, when, the time when they have to actually analyze that data. Um, it, it, the background required for students in the course is really one in which I would hope they have some exposure to the R programming environment. Um, since the um, analyses that we do uh, are, all, are all in R code or packages in R. It's still a very active research field, and if you come here um, in one year and come back five years later, uh, the material in the course could change quite uh, dramatically. Um, this is a very active field of research. Um, for instance, today, which is the last day of this particular version of the course, we're going to be looking at models for what are called two-mode networks, um, for models of dynamic networks, and then also models for where, when you have valued graphs, and that is you have an actual weight on the tie connecting two individuals. All of these are um, relatively new developments um, it, within the exponential random graph modeling framework. Um, and there's a lot yet to be learned about these techniques.